Hi, JV Fame behind the camera here. And we are working on our old house in Texas. And today I have been removing this uh, old original brick chimney that was for a wood burning stove back when this house was built. And I only thought just now to get the camera. Um, I hope that is somewhat centered in. And I'm going to show you how I'm taking these bricks out. As you see, I'm very dirty. Uh, well, that was loose. So, a hammer and a chisel. This is actually an old railroad tie. All the way up into the attic. And I should have thought about recording this before, but uh, sometimes I just don't think about it until I'm almost finished with something. It's messy work, but these are actually coming off pretty easy because the uh, these are actually coming off pretty easy because the cement is old and dry rotting and I decided uh, I decided this old brick chimney had to go because I feel like it's a danger as you can see the cement shouldn't just come apart that easily I can take about six bricks at a time out in my little trash can there uh, only because I can't find a bucket So that, boys and girls, is how you take apart an old brick chimney. Hammer, chisel, or in this case, an old railroad spike. Okay, I'm going to just pause this while I go dump this outside. Uh, excuse me, while I get the camera. Show you what a mess I've been making down here. So I put the rugs down there so I can just take them and shake them out. But uh, it's been a big job. And there's the hole up into the attic. I was up there earlier so I had to start up there and remove from the roof down to the ceiling and then uh, came down here and I have that much more to go. So I'm going to pause this now while I go empty my can. I'm on camera here again so I'm back I've emptied my bin outside and I'm going to continue removing bricks here. And I'm just using the chair to so I don't have to bend over every time to put them down in the can. And so back to the hammer and chisel. Be scared of construction work if you're a woman. Uh, or in this case, destruction work. But I'm destructing so that I can reconstruct. I'm going to uh, change this kitchen up and in order to do that you got to take something out and since the cement was all dry rotted and crumbling I thought well the thing to take out is the old chimney. If the cement was still good, it would not be coming apart this easily. You just have to use a little more elbow grease. And 
Now I've been trying to keep these bricks whole because I'm going to use them to make a walkway. And what's really cool about these bricks, I can't sit on that one. You have to wait till I get to one that uh, I'll show you on this one. These are old antique bricks. I don't make them like this anymore. And I hope you can read that. It says T E X A X, Texas. These are old Texas bricks, so I'm going to use them to extend my walkway that I've already made outside here. And uh, the leveling work is just about done. You see uh, the chimney that was in the bedroom before original chimney uh, came out some years ago and what I did was use the Texas bricks there to make this walkway and I need to weed eat it and since I'm out here I only have the one brick but I'm going to go ahead and put it over here and show you my pile that I've done today uh, it's quite arduous work that's Holly 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 girl Holly girl, come here baby. Come here. Come here. What a cute baby you are. Isn't she cute? That's Holly. Yes. Oh, she's a little sweetie. She's a little sweetie. Holly. Holly. <laughs> Alright. Yep. Holly's very cute and very playful. And uh, so, so, back to work for me. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video about removing an old brick chimney and getting to see Holly. Holly! 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 Come here, girl. Come here. Sit down. No. I didn't say lay down and roll over. I said sit. Come up. 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 Yeah. She's being very rambunctious right now. No, sit down. Sit. Shake my hand. Shake my hand. Every time I try to shake her hand, she just rolls over. Anyway, she's very cute. Uh, very cute. Her mother's a great white Pyrenees, and uh, I don't know what kind her dad is. He's from the neighbors two doors down over there. And uh, anyway, I'll go ahead while I'm out here. Just take a break from the chimney and show you the leveling. Uh, it's a nice house now, all, all straightened out. I had to put this plastic up because we had a uh, thunderstorm. It's all good. good Extra reinforce on the corners there. And uh, lovely, lovely job. House is straight. Next thing is to put the underpinning on and um, after the underpinning then comes the painting of it all okay a lot of work doing an old house but it's worth it there's the pile of stuff that came it's not even all of it. Somebody came and took some of these boat arc posts already. This is a lot of the stuff that came out from underneath and the old underpinning, which I'm not sure, and the rest of this pile of debris that I still have to pick up and move to the curb for the city to come collect. Anyway, cheers, mates.